Uh, in this video, I'm going to show you what to do if a user has blocked themselves from from your Joomla website and uh, the Akiba Admin Tools component has, has blocked them. So uh, first we'll go into Components and Admin Tools. Go to the Web Application Firewall. Now a user who has become blocked will be listed here by their IP address in the Auto IP Blocking Administration. Here we can see five different IP addresses. Now some of these will be hackers and automated attempts to break into the website so we don't really want to unblock all of them. We just want to unblock one particular one. So in order to, to do that, uh, find out the IP address of your, uh, your, your, your person who is unable to log in. They can do that, that by going to Google and typing in search for what is my IP. And then that will bring up their IP address and ask them to provide it with you. Then check in the list, find that IP address, mark it and delete. Then that user will be unblocked. Uh, check with that user to make sure that they are actually using the correct password when I try to go to the website. Also that they're using the correct URL to go to the administrator section. If they're not sure about their password, you can go to the, the user manager and locate that, that username and edit the password as needed by simply clicking on the username and editing on the password. Now, let's say that you yourself have become blocked from the website. You will then have to go into the the control panel to to uh, un to to disable the admin tools component until you can unblock yourself. So if you're not able to log in, go to the control panel and the file manager, and go to the the folder plugins. Go to System, Admin Tools, go into Admin Tools subfolder. Now edit the file called main.php and rename it to main.disable.php. Press Enter. So now the Admin Tools component is disabled, so then you can log into the website Go to Admin Tools and remove your IP address from the list of blocked IPs. Then quickly return back in here to the File Manager and rename the file back to main because you want to have the firewall in place to protect your website. So I hope this helps. So this shows you how to uh, uh, disable the firewall temporarily while you are removing yourself from being on the block, block list.